this works, I have this like top corner, which is the same top corner um, along, you know, all these edges of the cube. And then there's like, you know, this vertical corner or edge, I should say. And then there's this bottom one. And, you know, same thing all around. And then you have these two corners. Uh, top corner, which is the same on all the top corners. And then this bottom corner, which is the same on all the bottom corners. Um, and so, you know, you kind of get, you know, the building blocks here. You have this, you know, top one, this corner, the um, vertical one, this corner, and then the bottom one. And it's sort of like a C shape that if you rotate it all the way around, um, it you know, covers all the corners, and we're going to sort of replicate that in ZBrush. Um, so in Maya or Max or whatever, um, we want to go and create a cube. Now, this first cube, just, you know, for the sake of demonstration, is going to be 256 cubed. Um, and I'm going to call it wrap block or, you know, something. But basically this, um, as I'll show you later, will define the the wrap mode bounds in zbrush right so go file export this thing uh, so that will be our wrap block and then we create another cube um, and as for demonstration again this one will be 384 units and we'll give it a bunch of subdivisions and I'll call it sculpt block now, you don't really need to do these, um, like, divisions here, um, but I sort of like to do it because I can use, um, if I turn on Polyframe in ZBrush, I can use this stuff as sort of a guide for, you know, where um, the bounds are for, you know, where I want to sculpt. So, um, basically you see I'll have this you know the top edge the vertical edge and the bottom edge and you can see it sort of lines up with where this um, cube would define the wrapping um, in, in ZBrush so let's move this back to the origin here and export it and sculpt block okay so back over in ZBrush um, what we want to do is import our sculpt block. Okay, so if we turn on uh, polyframe, we'll see that's the one that was sort of, you know, tessellated a bit. Um, and we can see, you know, it would provide sort of a guide for us. Uh, but what we want to do, press the simple brush to switch out from the tool so it doesn't when we import the um, wrap block, it doesn't um, override it. So import wrap block. And then we have our wrap block here. Now, the way ZBrush works is um, when you import one sort of append one tool to another, um, it sort of changes its dimensions or, or the ZBrush bounds or whatever magical units they use um, to the original, um, you know, sub tool. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is, um, this is, you know, the center point or whatever, the origin here. And, you know, this extent here is one, this extent is negative one and, you know, vice versa in every axis. Um, so what I'm going to do is go and append the, um, sculpt block. So you have this here. You see, you know, this one is bigger, this is smaller, or whatever. Um, and then we want to go and add some divisions here. Turn off smoothing, give it, you know, three, and then turn back on smoothing, give it two. That's um, a decent resolution to, to sculpt with, right? Um, and what I like to do now is store a morph target so that, you know, if I kind of, you know, mess up and go too far, I can just, um, you know, restore the original sort of cube that, you know, wasn't messed up. Right? So if doing this, we want to duplicate also to have like a version of the original one and have, say, like a damaged one. So we'll call this one, you know, original. 
and then we'll actually use this one. Now, what you want to do is turn off the poly frame for now. Um, go into your whichever brush you're gonna use to um, sculpt. I kind of like the trim smooth border brush. Um, but go into the brush and curve settings and set wrap mode to one. Now, I just reinstalled Windows, so I, I don't really have my um, custom toolbar, whatever. I would have like wrap mode and all that stuff there easily accessible. You have to make sure, you know, you restore, you know, for every brush you use while you're sculpting in wrap mode, you, um, you know, make sure you, you set um, wrap mode to on or it won't tile. Um, so as you can see, you know, if I draw down, you know, this edge, right, um, the wrap mode starts here, you know, um, and we'll have this sort of edge that flows, you know, into each other, and then we'll conversely, we'll also, like, we'll end up flowing into this corner at the bottom and flow out of the top corner, that's how we get it to work. But, you know, we have this, you know, crap over here where wrap mode will sort of sculpt on other bits that we don't really want it to sculpt on. So, to sort of alleviate that, um, turn back on polyframe, and that's why I've kept this thing in um, orthographic for now, we'll mask off the area that, you know, we want to sculpt on. Turn on the floor or whatever, right? So... Let's inverse this thing here, turn back off the floor, um, and polyframe, and so now you can go to town on, you know, sculpting, and you can see because it's masked off, it doesn't really mess, you know, anywhere else up, um, and, you know, once you stay sort of, you know, in the bounds that were there, you know, which I've masked off, you don't get into any trouble, so to speak. Um, so you add some of your detail here. And, you know, for, while it still sculpts, like ends up sculpting on the corners, um, just try to, you know, focus on the actual edges and giving those interesting details because we'll deal with the corners more specifically later. Um, so you have this hair, and what you want to do is repeat this for um, a bunch of other, you know, uh, two other corners, and have them try to make them connect um, in that sort of C shape that I described um, earlier. <laughs> All right, turn this off, yeah, and I'm just doing, you know, something quick and rough here for the demonstration. No boom, bang, boom. And, you know, you, you can use this stuff, like, um, Malcolm on the same f thread, like, he, he said, you know, they've, um, used it for stuff like welding, or, or he's seen it used for, you know, welding on, like, scaffolding that, you know, uses tiling bits and, you know, joins together, but, you know, anything where, you know, you would have to use, like, a bunch of tiling stuff, and, you know, you want some nice edge detail, but, um you know, don't want to sculpt a whole, like, bunch of individual, um, you know, corners and stuff like that. You can, you know, use this, this technique, um, which can be further described in the thread, I guess, to, um, do it. So, now we have, um, yeah. So we have this sort of same C shape that I was describing before, you know, we have this hair, you know, so this is the vertical, the top, the bottom, right? Um, somehow we're going to have to get this on the other um, corners. So what we want to do is duplicate this sculpted thing um, 
We'll first go to deformation and turn the rotate axis to Y. So the other, the duplicated um, subtools inherit that. So duplicate this three times. One, two, three. All right. So hide these all except one. So we'll leave this one as like the original one or whatever and rotate the others. So, and, um, so deformation, rotate 90. So, you know, you see it's spun around like that. And then you go back here, grab this other one, deformation, um, 180. And grab the last one. Go to deformation again, and we could do negative 90 or 270, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, but what does matter is if we show all these guys here. Um, I'm sorry. We click on each of them, and I look at them from the top. You can see that each side, you know, has this detail. So what you want to do is sh um, make everything visible, except for this original wrap block. It actually, I don't think it matters, but um, it's not really needed at this point. Um, and select the original sort of clean thing that I had you, you know, make before. And then we want to go to project. And in this, I had you know these settings point two. Have the mean cranked all the way up, PA blur, I don't know what that is, um, farthest, and then I had inner, just because we were, like, chipping away, um, I, I don't really use project all that much, so, I mean, if anyone knows better settings, like, you know, have at it, but basically what this will do is project, you know, all these details onto all the corners, so we'll, you know, Hit project all and let ZBrush do its thing. Wait for that to finish. Okay, so let's um, hide all the other stuff. And then we have um, this mesh that has all the details projected onto it. And you can kind of tell if you go um, to the top. You can see it's done this kind of like radial projection. So like this, you know, sort of lip hair is over here and is over here and is, you know, over here, vice versa. So basically in its current state, um, you have, I think, one corner. Like you, you could technically bake this out right now, like bake this vertical, the top, um, the bottom and one of the corners and it would work and all sync up. But I kind of thought it would be, you know, personally, I thought it would be better if it had um, sort of different corner detail. And then, you know, the corners it does have are only like a result from being sculpted along these edges, sculpted along these edges. So it's not, you know, really that great. Um, so what you want to do now is um, go into your brush and you don't want wrap mode off, like on for this stuff. Um, go into transform, activate symmetry in the Y, um, radial symmetry, and make it um, four. Four count. So basically, you know, what that does is, you know, each of the corners, you know, you sculpt going this way and it will kind of go clockwise and anti-clockwise the other way and all this kind of stuff. And um, you'll have like a unique, well, a corner for the top and a corner for the bottom. Um, so what I like to do with this is to, um, you know, same thing like before, mask out the, um, you know, the corners themselves and where, you know, this here is, you know, where the thing wraps. You don't want to, um, have it butt up right against, like in case you, you know, mess up the, um, the, the the tiling so you know you give it a little sort of padding um, and it you know, well, masks all there because um, of radial radial mode on but so you mask so now you have your um, corners right Let me turn off 
this stuff here so I can go in now and like do whatever you know well, that sucks but you know do whatever kind of detail I you know feel like I need to do on this corner to make it look good so all right yep I think that's good and you know it makes sure it you know doesn't you could probably like smooth the mask too um, so it you know if you do go to that boundary it doesn't you know do a, a hard edge or whatever Turn off this floor yeah, give this corner a nice sort of thing here too Okay, so what you have is um, identical corners at the top here, identical at the bottom, and you can just export this thing out and, you know, bake it. I'll show you my um, bake setup for it. Um, and this. So if you imagine this is the, um, you know, sort of cube you sculpted from, and these, you know... Um, this is the the geometry I have like that's being projected you know you can see how the the normals are like they're going sort of straight on um, and at like the 45 degree angle you see how you know they would catch you know uh, this border area so to speak that you know I sort of restricted myself to um, you look at the UVs for this thing. Um, I kind of stretch stretch them out a little just to you know have them on um, kind of units that I thought would be useful. So if we change that to ten, lines uh, every. Right. So, you know, I have them on these, like, grid lines, so I know if I have, like, other pieces and I just need to, like, match them up, you know, along the strips, like, if I had them in, like, weird spots or whatever, I wouldn't be able to, you know, get the tiling right. So, you know, we have this, this is the one along the top, this is the one going along the bottom, I mean, the side, the vertical one, and then this is along the bottom. And then, you know, they're, you know, right up here, they tile vertically. I have them, like, smashed up right next to each other but it doesn't really matter because the edges will be masked anyway so it's it's not a big deal um i gave these a bit of padding because um you know on these edges where it would connect to the other bits um you know so i don't get like mipping errors and stuff like that um i won't really go over the the technique um too much but this is like what the sort of final geometry would look like i don't have anything um baked out right now for you know these maps but you know the idea is that um you know this if you duplicate it along you know this thing will tile a bit and then if you get um you know this piece here right and you move it over to this corner and rotate it in place, into place. Duplicate this. Um, it will, you know, should sync up. I don't have anything baked for this right now, but the, um, other example like for this geometry but the other example I showed um, had it working it works pretty cool um, thanks um, I have like you know thanks for putting up with my crappy webcam mic and um, I hope you found this useful